All right, welcome everybody to our first playoff matchup. And without further ado, let's start a quick introduction for both teams first. The number three seed coming in with Panther Dynamite and Noob Weapons, a team that has shown some cracks, but overall has been very solid on the season so far. A 12 and three record in the regular season. It is the Lawn Island Fisherman. And for the away team, they're a team that has pulled off huge upsets. A win over the Columbus Clappers, the only team to do so so far. A team that has built some chemistry after a mid-season roster change. It is the Baltimore Burgers. So let's take a look at their lineups here. As said before, the Fishermen have Dynamite, Brady, Noob Weapons, and Panther at their disposal. Most likely, we will see Panther, Dino, and Noob Weapons in this one. Let's hold on, I'm just getting to the lobby real quick. And then for the Baltimore Burgers, they've got Ocelot, Renard, Wallster, and Delvich. And from what we have seen so far, it looks like Ocelot, Wallster, and Delvich will be the three playing for the Burgers. They've become the new starting lineup for this team. And they have been going strong as of late. So without further ado, let's send it on over to the lobby. Let me quickly set up the teams here. Looks like Baltimore is actually going to be in red and the Fisherman in blue. I hope you all are excited as I am for this. As previously stated, the Long Island Fisherman, the number three seed, the Baltimore Burgers, the number six seed. Actually, let me quickly look up who won the last time these two teams faced. Actually, cannot remember. I think it was the Fisherman. Trying to find the score here real quick. It was the Fisherman picking up a 4-3 to three win over the Burgers the last time these two teams faced off against each other. So a very close matchup between these two. And that was before the Burgers had Delvich. So it'll be interesting to see if anything changes here. As we're waiting on the Burgers third to hop on. I'm just going to remind the teams to keep the arena indoor. Oh, Renard's going to be the third for the first game. All right. Uh, Bedvidge question mark. <laughs> and it is Renard. All right. Also, let them know that I'm ready. So it will be Walster, Ocelot, and Renard. Still a very powerful lineup. Delvin just sleep for another playoff series, potentially. And unluckily for him, this one's only best of three instead of best of seven, so. Doesn't exactly have a lot of time. <laughs> Oh, you don't think it was Bedvidge? They just chose this lineup. Okay. Interesting. Alright, burgers are ready. And so are the fishermen. I think we're about to get this one going here. I already said I was ready, but I'll say it again, I guess. That's all good. <laughs> and here we go. First period about to begin. Let me get this popped up for y'all. Because here we go. 
This is a best of three series. As now off the face off here, Walster and Dino on the boards. Walster coming away with it, getting an early shot on that. It goes off the post, but he's able to push it in. And the first goal of the playoffs goes to Walster and the Burgers. Almost immediately. Also, let me quickly get the uh, deep bot up. So give me a second for that. <laughs> My bad. I gotta go find it, wherever it is, as the Fishermen get an early goal as well from Panther. One to one already. Right now, here at mid-ice, Noob Weapons taking that puck away. Oh cool, thanks. <laughs> Just pop that over the screen. Very cool. Now Dynamite trying to push that one towards net. Osloff is there. Try to send it away, but Dynamite gets it back. And just like that, it's 2-1 to one Lawn Island on top. And now 3-1. to one. I looked away from the screen. And it's already another goal. Looks like this is going to be a high scoring one. At least so far. So Walster dumps it behind the Lawn Island net, and Panther is there. But also, Deep Bot is now at your guys' disposal. So if you type, as Panther goes for a wraparound, it gets sent away. You type exclamation point cheers in chat. You get a list of everything you can play as Renard sends that puck up ice. It goes past Ocelot and back behind the Fisherman net. Now back behind the Baltimore net, Renard trying to send it away. And Walster keeps sending it up ice into the Lawn Island zone. Now, good pass down to Dino, but good defense from Menard. Panther comes up and takes the puck, though. Trying to bring it out in front of the net. Doesn't quite work out. Now, Renard trying to pass that to Ocelov. It's blocked. Now, Renard trying to get it over to Walster, but it goes past him. I'm like dumping it into the Baltimore zone here. Renard trying to get it up to Ocelot. Can't quite do it. Trying to fight for it again. It gets sent over to Noob Weapons. Noob. Lose control of the puck. It goes to Ocelot. Ocelot. Bounce it off boards. Dynamite sends it back. Now Walster goes for a cross ice shot, but it bounces off a of Panther. Ocelot with the puck. Trying to get that pass out. Noob almost own gold it there, but was able to send it to the side instead. Now Ocelot sending it out in front of the net. The Fishermen are there to send it away. Now back behind the Lawn Island net, Walster and Dino fighting for it. Walster actually coming away with it. Now Dino gets it back. And now loses it once again to Walster. Now Walster and Noob fighting for it. Walster. Try to get that passed out, but it's blocked by Panther. Over on the other side, Noob Weapons passes it back to Panther. Panther losing control of the puck to Ocelot, who will just dump it. Further into the Lawn Island zone. A Dynamite. Trying to send it away. Noob has a good chance here. Trying to get that pass over to Panther, but Walster was there to stop it. Again, the last two times these... Or the first time these teams faced in regular season as Noob Weapons sends it away. It was a 4-3 to three win for the Fishermen. Not dominant by any means. A very low scoring game. That one. Kind of the opposite of what this seems to be shaping up to be. His new weapons in the corner, trying to pass that one up to Panther. It's blocked, but he was able to get his stick back on it. Now in the Baltimore zone, Renard with Panther pressuring. It gets pinched out to Dino Mike, who makes a good shot, but Walster was there for the save. Now gets sent around boards, Panther. In control of the puck here, sends it out in front of his own or in front of the Burgers net. Osloff able to come away with it, but good defense from the Lawn Island Fisherman. Keep that from being a goal. Now, Noob and Renard. N Renard actually gets a good pass out to Walster, but he could not corral it. Maybe a bit too hard. Now, Walster getting that over to Renard. Renard giving it down to Ocelot, who will dump it back behind the Lawn Island net. Now, Mike. Bouncing off boards, getting it up to Panther. Panther losing control of the puck to Walster, who once again just dumps it back behind the Lawn Island net. Under 30 seconds left. 3-1 to one our score. 
The Long Island Fisherman currently leading this match by two. The Dynamite. The puck here on the boards. Sends it towards the Baltimore net. A good chance there for Panther, but he sends it wide. The Wassler was there to block it anyways. Ten seconds left here in the first. Ocelov can't quite get control of that puck. He leaves it for Renard. Renard and Dino fighting on the boards. Dino keeps it away from Renard. And that's how our period will end. Three to one, our score. A two-goal lead for Lawn Island heading out of the first. As the Burgers scored the first goal in that period, but then the Lawn Island Fishermen came back with three quick ones of their own. Now we wait for the second period to begin. Ocelov apparently having some pain issues. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, looks like the burgers are just going to play through it regardless. Game one here of our best of three series. Three to one, our score. The Long Island Fisherman up by two, heading into the second period. New weapons with the puck in his own zone. Goes around behind his own net. Gets it up to Panther. Panther loses control of the puck to Walster. Who couldn't fully corral it. Now Panther steals it away in the Baltimore zone. Looking for a pass here. Trying to send it back to Noob. Walster tried to send it away, but he sent it right to Dynamike. Who puts it into the Baltimore net. Four to one now. A three-goal lead for Long Island. Now New Buppets makes it a four-goal lead. Long Island starting to pull away here in this first game. However, there's still plenty of time for Baltimore to come back as Panther gets another one. Six to one now. Now Dynamite almost getting another goal there for the Long Island. Fisherman, as Noob, taking control of the puck in his own zone, dumps it up. Panther, good pass over to Dynamite, but good defense from Walster. He's recovering that puck a bit tougher. Now Panther, losing control of it to Walster. Walster cannot keep it away from Noob weapons, though. Ocelof trying to dump it out of his zone, and Noob sends it towards the Baltimore net. 7-1. The Long Island Fishermen have scored four goals in under a minute in the second period. Now Renard's sending that shot just wide. As Panther behind the Fisherman's net. Taking his time with this one. Looking for a lane here. Bring the puck up ice. Ocelot on him. Bumps him off. Bring the puck around. Blocked by Panther in the dump attempt. The Panther and Renard fighting. Goes to Walster. Walster. Getting over to Ocelov. Ocelov. Can't quite control the puck here. Now gets sent down back behind the Baltimore net. Renard is there. You have to wonder. Down 7-1 to one in the second period. Maybe they're going to let this game play out as Walster gets a goal from the boards. Off what looked like a pinch. And now Walster gets another one off a beautiful pass from Menard. And just like that, it's 7-4. to four. I was just going to say, if I wonder if the Burgers are considering, you know, a lineup change going into game two. But maybe they're starting to uh, finally gel a bit here. Let's hope for them that it's not too late, as Panther sends that one wide. A Dino bouncing off the side of the net. Renard is there to recover the puck and dump it away. Panther, taking his time with this one. Bringing it back behind the Lawn Island net. Walster trying to chase. Panther goes to the other side. Passes it down to Dynamite. Dynamite has an open net in front of him. Passes it to Noob, who sends it wide. Now Panther. Trying to get that pass over to Noob. Noob wasn't quite ready for it. He does recover the puck, though, and get a pass to Dino, whose shot bounces off of Noob's stick. Maybe a bit of miscommunication there from the Fisherman. And now Noob weapons. 
Trying to pass that one down to Panther. Panther sends it back. And new, but a smart move there to get a pass over to Dynamite. Ocelot stealing the puck away, though. Gets it back to Renard. Renard trying to get back down to Ocelot. He punches it around to Walster. As new weapons fighting with him. New weapons with a risky move. Sending that one out in front of his own net, but Ocelot sent it wide. Ocelot with a nice pass back to Renard. Renard's shot blocked by Panther. Renard trying to push this one in. But he had three fishermen ahead of him and could only get past one. Walster trying to dump that away. Risky play, but Renard actually comes up to take that puck. Tries to get that pass over to Osloff, but it was blocked. Now Panther. Good pass down to Dynamite. Dynamite gets past Walster. And now back behind the Baltimore net. Noob got that pass up to Panther, but a pinch between Walster and Panther sent it towards the Long Island zone. Dynamite recovered, though, got past two players and put it in the net. Great play from Dynamite there to just deke out Renard and Ocelov at the same time. 8-3 to three now. A five-goal lead for Long Island with a minute 20 left in the second period. Walster, trying to get that pass up to Ocelov, but it goes past him. Now Noob, good pass over to Dynamite. Dino. Of Walster pressuring, it gets pinched out to Ocelov, who cannot get past Noob. Good defense. Now Noob sends it down towards the Baltimore net, it's wide. Walster trying to dump it away, almost own goals to keep it away from Panther. As he sent it off the post. Now Panther on the boards, trying to get that pass out to Noob Weapons, can't quite do it. Now maybe trying for a wrap around here as an opportunity, Walster makes the save though. Now Ocelot just trying to get it out of the Baltimore zone. They've been stuck here. Ocelot again just trying to find a way out. He does get past Noob Weapons. Gets a nice pass over to Walster. Walster trying to leave that one for Renard, but Panther takes it away instead. Now Panther trying to bring it out in front of the Burgers net. Didn't do much. A Diamike with under 20 seconds left here in the second period. As the Fishermen try to put another goal... Between them and the Burgers. As Noob almost own goals. Now five seconds left. Renard maybe trying to make a play here for the Burgers. Instead gives up the puck to Noob Weapons. Who will keep it out of Burgers possession. 8-3 to three our score. A five goal lead for the Fishermen heading into the third period. Let's take a look at one of the goals from that period. Dynamite just... But a great move got past both Ocelov and Renard and, was found, and found a way to put it into the back of the burger's net. It right, looks like Ocelov got a restart in. Once again, 8-3 to three our score. A big lead here for the Fishermen heading into the third period, but nothing's impossible here in game one. <laughs> Alright, Ocelot is ready I assume the rest of the burgers are as well Once again, 8-3 to three our score Third period underway Walster, AFK, so maybe he wasn't ready Came back alive now though The Panther sending it towards the burgers net Ocelot with a nice steal here Gets around new weapons Can't make that shot though Because of a great save from Dynamite Now Walster gets that pass down to Ocelot back behind the Long Island net. He cannot find a way to get it out. Though now Walster sends it off the post. But Panther own goals it for him. To make it 8-4. to four. And the Burgers able to bite a bit into that lead. Take a little nibbles. As Renard with noob weapons on him. Loses the puck. Now noob. He trying for a wrap around there. But Ocelot had him scouted. Now Ocelot. Try to get that pass down to Walster, but Panther had him scouted. Now Panther in the Long Island zone. Goes around behind his own net. Try to find some room here. Ocelot comes up to pressure him, though, and Renard dumps it away. Now Noob. Gets that pass up to Dino. Dino. From back behind the Long Island net. Trying to get up to Panther, but it goes past him. And now Renard. 
Panther trying to pressure here. Panther couldn't come away with the puck, but Noob Weapons does on the boards. And he sends it all the way back to Dynamite. Sends it around to the other side, but Renard is waiting for it. Renard, nice pass to Walster. Walster leaves it for Osloff. Now Osloff coming up on the puck here. Dino gets it away from him. Panther on the other side with Walster on him. Walster, risky pass. It bounces off the boards and almost own goals. But luckily for him, it just went off the post. But Dino Mike able to get on the puck and put a shot in afterwards. 9-4, to four, a five-goal lead once again for Long Island. As a game one victory for the Fishermen, looking more and more likely. But Dynamite brings the puck out in front of the Burgers net. Renard makes a good save there, though. Now Ocelot. Blocked by Dino. Renard getting that pass over to Walster. Walster with Noob on him. Noob. Leaving it for Panther, who goes for a shot blocked by Renard. But Renard can't make two straight saves. As off the rebound, Noob Weapons puts it in. 10-4 to four now. Fishermen in double digits. A six-goal lead for them. Now Noob, getting that pass down to Dino. Dino with an open net in front of him gets another one in. And we're in blowout territory now, 11 to four. However, this is a best of three series. There are t still two games left. It's Panther. Bounced that one off the side of his own net. Walster had an opportunity, but it was blocked. Now we're on the other side. Renard and Noob. Renard giving that pass to Walster. Walster, nice pass down to Ossoff. Ossoff shot blocked by Panther. The Burgers, when they can get time of possession with the puck, are able to make some good plays happen. However, they just have not been able to get any sort of control in this game. Now Renard trying to open up some room for Ocelot here, but Dynamite just pushes in, takes the puck for himself. Ocelot takes it back, though. Gets a nice pass down to Renard, who puts it out for Walster, who sends it wide of the net. And was sent even wider by Panther. But back behind the Long Island net, Renard. Trying to take the puck away from Dino here. And he does. And he gets a pass out to Ocelot. Ocelot. His shot blocked by Panther. Walster does a good job on the other end from keeping Panther from putting that one in to make it 12 to 4. The Long Island Fisherman still have a chance here. Noob taking his time with this puck, unsurprisingly, and loses control of it. Now Walster and Panther on the boards. Panther comes away with it. And now he loses the puck here. Now Renard. With Noob pressuring. Noob comes away with it. It's a nice pass out to Panther. Panther now moves around, tries to go for a pass to Dino, and it's blocked. Now Dynamite. Walster gets it away from him, actually, and I was able to get a shot off, but it was just wide. Under a minute left here. 11 to 4, our score, a 7 goal lead for the Fishermen. And what is looking like a game one victory for them, Dynamite sends that down ice, but Renard is there. However, there's still potentially two more games in the series left. It is best of three. Now in the Burgers zone, Walster just trying to get it away. Can't quite do it. Kind of the story of this match so far. I have to be brutally honest here. As Dino Mike puts another one in for the Fisherman. They just continue to dominate here as time winds down. MVP chance for him, unsurprising. Now Noob sends that puck away and in the Baltimore zone, Walster gets over to Ocelot, gets it up to Renard, and that is how we will end this one. 12 to four, our score, an eight goal victory for Long Island in game one. So let's get into it. Here we go. Second game underway. Long Island took the first. And with the and with the lineup change, can the Burgers take the second? I mean they'll need to, because if they don't, then they lose the best of three series. And now Panther gets that nice pass out to Dino to start this one off. 
but it was sent away. The Panther taking control of the puck here in his own zone. Delvich trying to pressure. Now Osloff comes up to pressure. Delvich, a man who really likes to play in the four check. Maybe somewhat unsurprisingly. Adds a kind of different element to the game than Renard does as Noob sends that one just wide. Renard a bit more of a defensive player. At least from what I've noticed. So it'll be interesting to see if that changeup really changes anything. Now Panzer trying to send it down ice. Delvich with a nice block. Now Noob leaving it for Panzer. Gives a nice pass out to Dino. Under a minute. At this point in the last match it was 3-1. to one. Right now it's nothing to nothing. Now Noob with Ocelot chasing. It's sent back behind the fisherman's net. Dynamite. Good pass at the Panther. Panther trying to get it past Delvidge. Can't quite do it. Panther with the puck again. Losing control here. Delvidge sending it around boards to Ocelot. Noob. Good pass to Panther. Panther shot blocked by Walster. Again, the Long Island fishermen just continue to get chances. Control this puck. Looking very similar to how they played in game one. Now Noob. Good pass over to Dino. Dino from the mid-ice. Blocked by Delvidge on the shot attempt. And now Dino gets a second chance opportunity. And Delvidge wasn't there to stop him this time. One to nothing. The Long Island fishermen strike first here in game two. Now Ocelof. Risky play there in front of his own net. And eventually he's bumped off the puck. And it gets sent in. Dynamite gets another one on the board. Two to nothing. And now, while these lineups do sound like they were planned ahead of time, you do have to wonder, as Walster just sends that one wide, you have to wonder why they would switch out why they wouldn't switch out a man who has been said to have pain troubles. And as I say that, Ocelof immediately proves me wrong by putting one into the net. Two to one now. Also, thank you, Q-Dub. That one gets set wide. Delvich bouncing it off boards, but Noob is there. The Walster. Taking control of that puck. Gets it away from Dynamite and over to the other side. Now Panther and Ocelof fighting. Panther wins. And dumps it. The Dino. Losing control of the puck. Gets it and sends it horizontal along the goal line. This could easily be 3-1 to one right now. But instead, the Fisherman unable to capitalize there. Now Delvich bouncing off boards. It goes right to Dynamite. Dynamite losing control of the puck. It's dumped into the Baltimore zone. Delvich. And that pass over to Walster. Walster loses control of it. Dynamite gets a nice pass out to Noob Weapons who puts that one in. Great team play there for the Long Island Fisherman. And just like first period in the last match, it's 3-1. to one. Jesus, q -dub. Now Noob passing that one over to Dynamite. Dynamite loses control of the puck. Now Walster trying to push it down ice here. He does get into the Long Island zone, but he loses control of the puck to Dino, who puts it in from one zone to the other. Four to one now. A three goal lead here for Long Island. As the lineup change doesn't seem to have done much to change the Burgers' fortunes, at least so far. No Ocelof. Send that pass all the way down ice to Walster. Walster leaving it back for Ocelof, but it gets blocked. No Delvich passing this back to Walster. Walster losing it on a pinch. He goes to Noob back behind the Long Island net. Noob dumps it. Now Walster and Dino fighting. Under a minute left here in the first. In game number two. MVP chance. Most assumedly for Dino Mike. Who has been both great in this game and all season. Actually, I just read the chat message. It was for Qdub. <laughs> now Walster. Back behind the burger's net. Fighting with new weapons here. He gets on the boards. Panther goes for a shot blocked by Ocelot. 
No dynamite. Good pass over to Panther. Panther. Delvich on him. Get, sends that towards the net. Walser is there for the save. Dynamite. Good pass back to Noob to keep it in. Fisherman possession. Delvich is shot. Saved by Noob. Weapons. Somehow he made that save. It's still a three goal game. Can the Burgers do something as time expires here in the first period? I'm afraid not. 4-1 our score. A three goal lead for Long Island. Coming out of the first period. Well, let's take a look at one of those goals. One of... As Dynamite had three in that first period. But this one does not get credited to him. and instead gets credited to Noob Weapons off a beautiful pass from Dynamite. As it looks like Delvage got some food. Maybe that's the extra energy he needs. Hey, thanks, Kodiak. Got called out to step up. <laughs> MVP chance on that too lot of a cooldown for that and it looks like both teams are ready to go here second period underway 4-1 to one our score and the Burgers do something to gain back some momentum here a rough first game and a rough first period as my game crashed Uh, hold on. What a play. <laughs> Alright, hopefully don't miss too much here. And Ocelov scored while we were gone. So sorry we missed out on that. And it's 4-2. to two. And now almost another goal for the Burgers there, but it gets over to the other side and just wide of the net. Now Delvich trying to dump it away. It's right to Noob Weapons. Noob. And it around to Dino. Dino. Keep in control of the puck here, but lose it to Ocelov. But Panther sends it into the Burger zone. Delvich sending it around boards to Walster. Walster losing control of it. Goes back to Noob. Noob sending it back to Dino, who was luckily there, or else that would have been an own goal. Now Ocelot does a nice job blocking Noob's shot, but it goes over to Panther. Panther's shot blocked by Ocelot as well. Now Dino takes an opportunity, this time blocked by Walster. But again, the Fisherman just holding on to this puck here. The Burgers want to turn this game around. They have to get a bit more time of possession. As Dino, able to get around Ocelot, could not get around Walster. Panther's shot stopped by Delvich. Now Delvich gets around Panther, good move, gets a pass to Walster, Walster with another opportunity, but he can't get a shot on net. A Dynamite from in the Long Island zone, gets a nice pass down to Noob, who sends it wide, however, still Long Island puck, Panther and Noob sending it back and forth. Noob sending it over to the corner, tries to pass it out, a bit too weak though, Ocelot shot blocked by Dino. Dino, good move, gets around Ocelot, sends a shot towards the net, Walster sends it away. A dynamite. Sending puck down ice once again. Hey, thank you, Chase Me. I just realized. <laughs> As Delvich tries to send it back to Ocelot, blocked by Panther. Now Delvich almost pinching it into his own net. Luckily for him, it was sent wide. And Panther passing it back to Dino. Dino gets around. Delvich gets it out in front of the burger's net. Well, luckily it was saved. Under two minutes and 30 seconds left here in the second period. The Burger is the only one to score during this period so far. But still down by two. Delvich with a good opportunity, but he overskates it. Walster does get a pass over to Ocelot, though, but he loses the puck to Dynamite. 
And now the puck just gets sent back and forth between like five different players. And eventually dumped back into the Long Island zone. Now Dynamite back from behind that net. Dumps it away. Under two minutes now. Still 4-2. to two. Panther. Leaving the puck for Dino on the boards. Dino, good move to get around to Ocelov. Delvich with a nice job saving that puck. From going in. Panther again gets around two players. Ocelov does a good job to keep Dino Mike away from the puck, but can't keep Noob away from it. Five to two now. A three goal lead once again for the Fisherman. Now Walser's shot blocked by Dino Mike. Delvich with an opportunity. They get sent wide. Dino Mike with the puck. Dumping it back behind the burger's net. Ocelov and Panther fighting. Panther, good pass out to Dino Mike. Loses control of the puck. Delvich tries to bring it down to the other end. He, as well, loses control of it. Now, Walser's shot blocked by Noob. Now, Panther. Risky play there. It bounces off of Noob and, luckily, to the side and not into their own net. Now, Ocelov maybe going for the wraparound. Can't quite hit it. And Walster can't hit it either as the puck got to him. Now, Walster again out in front of the net. Leaves it for Ocelov, but he sends it wide. And now Ocelov going for another pass out in front, but it was sent away. Delvage's launch shot blocked by Panther. Another pass to Walster, but this one misses. Now Fisherman with a good chance at the other end. Instead, decide to just kind of hold on to the puck. Instead of trying to take the offensive opportunity. Panther sends it towards their net and almost gets an across-ice goal. Delvage sends it back behind the Fisherman net. Noob. Losing it to Walster. Walster. Trying to look for a shot opportunity on net. Here gets a good pass out to Ocelov, but he can't corral it. Now Ocelov going for the shot. Sent away by Noob Weapons. Now Delvin's trying to dump it up. Ice Panther sends a shot back towards the Burgers net. His shot missed, but the ricochet off the backboards gave him one more chance. And he hit it. 6-2 to two now. And that is how we will end our second period. 6-2 to two our score. A four-goal lead for the Fishermen. Heading into the last period of what could potentially be the last game of this series. Let's take a look back at one of the goals from that period. This one from the Fishermen. As Panther bounces it off boards up to Dino, who gets it over to Noob, who puts it away. All right, Walster's ready to go. Which I assume means the Burgers are ready to go as well. And apparently Panther wasn't ready. Even though Dino asked for them to let them know when they were ready. Whatever. <laughs> All right, here we go. Six to two, our score. A four-goal game here as the Burgers try to keep this playoff series alive. Now Noob shot blocked by Ocelov. Ocelov has to make another save and a third one. Three straight blocks from him, but his pass to Delvich sent away. Now Panther gets that pass up to Dino. Dino, a bit pressure from Walster and couldn't do much with it. Now this puck keep bouncing between Walster, Ocelov, and a random fisherman. Noob trying to send that puck down ice. Ocelov sends it away, and Noob sends it back. Ocelov it receives that pass from Walster, tries to send it back his way, but it was blocked by Panther. Now Delvich, good pass to Walster. Noob of a great save, though. Keeps it 6-2. to two. Now Dino loses control of puck to Walster, but he sent it wide. I don't even think he expected to come away with that puck, to be honest. Delvich with Panther on him. Dumps it back behind the fisherman's net. Now gets pinched out in front of said net, but Delvich sends that shot wide. A Panther. Keeping it back behind the Long Island net, trying to dump it away. Noob, risky pass out to Dino, but it works. Del or Dino with the great move to get around Delvich and dump it. Now Fisherman, the Baltimore zone. Well, had the puck. Lost control of it, and now he's trying to fight to get it back. 
Over on the other side, Ocelov now fighting with Panther. Delvich coming away with the puck. Set pass up to Ocelov. Ocelov leaving it back for Delvich. Delvich at the other end puts a shot on net, but Dino make, makes a great save. And again, the Burgers are actually able to get some chances going off in this period, but aren't able to capitalize off of them. Now Walster sends that puck across the crease, but nobody was there to take advantage. Again, chance after chance comes for Baltimore so far, but they cannot finish them. Now Dynamite in front of the Burgers net sent that one wide. They're going for a wrap around here. And said he brings it out, loses it to Delvich. And now Walster almost blocks that one back into the Long Island net. But he got sent just a bit wide. Now Panther, his pass up to Dino, stolen by Ocelot. Ocelot, trying to get that pass to Walster, couldn't quite work out. Now Walster, it bounces off of somebody's stick to Delvich. I think it was Dino's. Now in the Long Island zone, Walster trying to send it out in front of that Long Island net. But Noob was there to send it away. Also off dumping this one back down. And as we approach the two minute mark here in this third period, not a single goal has been scored during it. Still a four goal lead for the Fishermen. This time is winding down on the Burgers and their playoff hopes. Now Walster losing control of that puck. Noob, nice pass up to Panther. Panther could not corral it though. Now Delvidge back behind that Burgers net. Lost it to Panther. Panther gets over to Dino. Dino loses control of it. Now on the other side, new weapons. Trying to pass it down to Panther. He goes past him, though. And all the way to Dynamite. Dynamite. Just holding onto this puck. Gets it past Ocelot. It bounces off the post. And somehow the Burgers were able to make a save on that. They need chances at the other end. If they want that save to matter, as Panther's shot sent away by Walster. Now Delvich trying to send it out, blocked by Noob. Ocelot goes, has a good chance here. Noob comes out back over to make the save, though. Ocelot goes for another chance, this time blocked by Dynamike. And again, with each chance that the Burgers have and don't succeed on, you have to wonder how much of that is them and how much of that is great defense from the Fishermen. His pants are on the boards. Just holding on to this puck here. Probably trying to waste some time. Delvich eventually gets it away from him. Delvich from back behind the Burgers net. Trying to get around Panther and Dynamite at the same time. Bit too hard. Now Walster comes up to the puck and bounces it into his own net. And even though this game would have been a very hard one to win for them, that's probably the dagger. 7-2 with only 20 seconds left. Looks like the Fishermen will be moving on to semi-finals. Winning the first ever SPL playoff series 2-0 here over the Baltimore Burgers. And for the Burgers, a great season for them as Walster gets one last goal in. Well, potentially one last goal. There's still six seconds left. So congrats to the Fishermen. And a great season from the Burgers sadly has to come to an end. 7-3 our final score. A four-goal win for the Fishermen here in Game 2 as they take the Series 2-0.